if you generate 5x ROI for one month for one campaign, it might be just a lucky streak or the product is good. However, if you are like us and you manage to consistently generate 2 to 5x ROI across 100 campaigns for the last 7 years consistently, then it's not luck. It is a process, a process that is replicable and predictable. Unlike what most people think, digital marketing is not just about clicking a few buttons on Facebook and waiting for sales to come in. In order to generate real results consistently, there is a proper process that you have to go through. In our industry, people often talk about the spectacular results, but not about what goes on behind the scenes of a successful campaign. So I will take you behind the scenes and walk you through the 5-step process in this video that allows us to help SMEs get results. In fact, a lot of the work is done before you even set up the campaign on Facebook or Google. Let me go right into it. First step is to brainstorm pain points. In this step, you deep dive into your target audience demographics and psychographics and pick up as many pain points as possible. You go for quantity first and you can eliminate later. So what is pain point and why pain point at the basis? Here's the thing, when people buy something, it's always out of pain or pleasure. Think about the last thing you just bought. You don't buy something just because you like the salesperson's face, unless you have a lot of money. You buy something because you want to solve a pain point that you have or you want to reach a certain goal. It's either pain or pleasure. Let's just use an example. Let's say you want to do digital marketing because you want your business to grow and get listed. That is a pleasure. The pain in this case would be that your business is not growing fast enough. As you can see, pain and pleasure could be both sides of the same coin. It's about the same motivation of growing the business. That's why in our marketing campaigns, we tend to focus just on the pain point to keep things simple. Secondly, people are driven by pain more than pleasure. For example, if I tell you that when you watch this video, you will earn $1, you may not be very interested. But if I tell you that if you don't watch this video, you will lose $1 which is a pain, then you are much more motivated to watch this video. This is the loss aversion theory by Daniel Kahneman who won a Nobel Prize for this. So pain is a greater motivator than pleasure. Once again, that's why the very important first step in our process is to brainstorm pain points. We want to start off with pain point first because that is the basis of any conversion or purchase. There are a few more triggers such as obstacles or objections, but for simplicity's sake, we just focus on pain points in this video. So in this step, we want to brainstorm as many pain points as possible. But you want to be cautious of not being stuck in your own echo chamber, which is a common trap. We tend to see the world from our own lenses and we assume a lot of pain points which are not accurate. So we want to really generate points that are realistic, that are reflective of your target audience's real sentiments. Otherwise, it's just self-deception and the campaign will definitely fail from your first step. In order to get genuine pain points, you have to ask. You may not always have the chance to talk to your target audience. That's okay. You can ask people within your team that have the most interaction with your customers. You can ask your sales team or your customer service team for the insights about the pain point. Some questions you can ask. What triggers our customers to look for digital marketing? What is the consequence if they do not solve the problem? Second step is to categorize the pain points. Let me just use the example of digital marketing industry again to illustrate to you. The pain points that our target audience, which are SMEs, face in this industry include all this. Number one, they are getting poor quality leads from their campaign and spend a lot of time filtering the leads. Number two, they lost their walk-in traffic due to COVID. Number three, their Facebook ad accounts or page got banned for no reason and they cannot run ads anymore. Number four, their salespeople do not have enough leads and are leaving the company. Number five, they have no budget to do digital marketing. So I have listed five real pain points as example to help you see how it works. Let's say you have five pain points to work with. Make sure that each of these pain points are truly distinct from one another. If you find that the pain points are similar or that one is merely a symptom of another pain point, group them together as one pain point. This is because you need diverse pain points to create diverse ad copies, which I'll cover in step 4 later. Once you have the 5 pain points, you need a way to make sense of them. So you classify them into two main categories of target audience, which are problem-aware and solution-aware pain points. Problem-aware target audience are those people who have a problem to solve but they are not aware of the type of solution that you offer. For example, our agency provides paid ads as a solution, which SMEs may not be aware of. Out of the 5 pain points I have listed just now, 3 of them belong to the problem-aware category and 2 of them in the solution-aware category. Pain point 2, 4 and 5 are considered problem-aware pain points, whereas pain point 1 and 3 are considered solution-aware pain points. Let me explain. For pain point 4, their salespeople are not having enough leads. It's a problem that SMEs face. 
but they may not be aware that paid ads campaign is a solution. That's why I put it as a problem aware category. On the other hand, people who have been getting low quality leads have obviously ran campaigns before, so they definitely are aware of paid ads campaigns, so I put them in the solution aware category. Third step is brainstorm solutions. In this step, you come up with the solution for each pain point that your target audience faces. Let's go back to the five pain points for the digital marketing industry that I've listed just now. For example, for pain point number one, low quality leads. Our solution is that we use a combination of video, landing page, and CRM to increase the quality of leads that you get from online space. And then for pain point three, for those people who have gotten their Facebook ad accounts disapproved or banned, our solution is that we are a meta partner agency and then we work with a Facebook manager to make sure that your ad accounts do not get banned or prevent all these disruptions from happening. We actually put all this down in the ad copies then for those pain points that you don't have a solution for, you can strike them off. For example, for companies with no budget, we don't have a solution, so we will not be using this pain point at all, so we'll cross it out. Lastly, for problem-aware pain points, you don't have to brainstorm unique solutions for them because the solution is basically whatever you offer. Since the group is problem-aware and not solution-aware, you just tell them the solution directly. Fourth step is to run campaign and gather data. This is the step whereby you finally log in to Facebook and run the campaign. That's why I told you at the beginning that most of the work is done before you even set up the campaign. There is a lot of groundwork to do in first three steps, but once you're done with that, you have a solid foundation to work with. Here's the thing, in the previous step, you have come up with a number of pain points, right? But do you know which pain point is the one that's real? Or which pain point is the one that will resonate with most of your target audience? You don't know until you start the campaign. That's why you do this step and let data tell you the answer. In this step, you start to write ads based on the pain points that you have brainstormed earlier. Once you start running a campaign, you see which are the ads that have better response in terms of higher clicks and higher convergence. From there, you know which pain point actually works and which one doesn't. Take note that you have to publish at least one ad from each category, which means one problem aware app and one solution aware app at least. Also, the pain points must be different from one another. This is because the key objective at this stage is to collect data, so your ads must be diverse enough. If it's not diverse enough, you are not spending your budget optimally. In our agency, we created this 7x formula as a guideline to make sure that we publish ads that are diverse enough. So you can see that ads have to be different awareness level, different appeal and different benefit. A lot of marketers will use a different headline or different image for their ad while everything stays the same. The problem is that the ads are not diverse enough. You have to test ads of different awareness level and different pain points. This way, you can cover a lot of grounds with your audience. Fifth and final step is to maximize results. In the previous step, you have gathered data about which awareness level and which pain point works the best. And now, it's time to focus your budget in the area that works best to maximize results. Back to my example of digital marketing services, I may have found that the pain point of low quality leads is getting the best results so far. What I do is create more ads that talk about this particular pain point. I might do a small tweak such as changing the headline or the image to bump up my ROI on the campaign. But at this stage, there is no need to test other pain points anymore. You just focus your budget and maximize the results. If you want to, you can also scale the campaign, increase budget and make a lot more money. A common mistake is that marketers scale their campaign before they found a stable converting ad angle or pain point. That will jeopardize the whole campaign when they try to scale. However, if you have done step 1 to 4 properly, your campaign is very scalable. So there you go, the 5 steps are brainstorm pain points, categorize pain points, come up with solutions to the pain point, run campaign and gather data, and lastly, maximize results by focusing on the pain point that converts. Most advertisers got the whole process jumbled up and start the other way around. They jump straight into campaign setup and optimization, but that is a sure way to burn money. You always have to start with target audience first and pain point first. Once you have done the homework sufficiently, your campaign will be very consistent and scalable, and that is how you make money with paid ads. Thanks for watching this video. Do like, subscribe and press the bell notification button so that when new videos are released, you will be notified. I'll catch you soon.